Okay, it's time to get radical on some hollandaise. So I've got my station set up, uh, put some clarified butter in a squirt bottle, and this will prevent me from adding too much oil at once. We're gonna be limited to the size of the spout here, and uh, I recommend you do that. yolk hollandaise and that'll take approximately uh, 18 ounces of clarified butter so just over you know, I guess that's two and a quarter cups now uh, this is a, a bit of a stretch from uh, traditional hollandaise usually you're going to start with some uh, either some wine or some cider vinegar, some peppercorns, uh, shallots, reduce that down. What I use for my acid is lemon juice. So I'm going to start with the juice of a half a lemon, three yolks in a bowl, the double boiler. Let's have uh, some nice light heat going on the bottom. You don't want like a rapid boil, but I'm just going to do this and then we can take this the eggs on and off, on and off. Uh, but what we're looking for is we want this to be kind of frothy and about tripled in volume without the eggs coagulating. If they coagulate, then they're going to lose their, their emulsifying potential, we'll say. There's lecithin in here. That's what's going to allow us to take a liquid, essentially, and an oil, mix them together. And that's the beauty of a hollandaise, mayonnaise emulsified salad dressing emulsification we're also looking for once this uh, almost triples in volume and we get like a ribbon slash trailing effect when we whisk through it I'll show you when we get there that's when we'll know to start adding in the oil can see here, now we're starting to leave our trails, ribbon-like effect, thickening up, increasing volume. There's a towel right here. I add my butter. And then what I like to do is just go back and forth between butter and water. We'll just use, we'll use this water here to kind of get the consistency I'm going for. So now you can see it's kind of getting thick and pasty. It sticks in the in the waist. Yeah, that thins it back down. That's gonna be all right. Start to thicken again. Going back and forth between butter and water, keeping this night nice and light, kind of fluffy consistency. As soon as it thickens, we bring the water back to it. So when we're getting down there. I'm liking that consistency. Uh, the flavor is pretty good. I'm going to give it some salt. I just tested it and some Tabasco. A little bit more salt. One more hit of Tabasco and a little bit of a little bit more lemon juice. 
And what are we going for? You can season this however you want. We're going to end up folding some different things into it as we serve in different dishes down the road. But I like to balance, obviously, the great fatty, buttery flavor with uh, salt, a little heat from the Tabasco, and then the acidity of the lemon. And to me, a holidays that gives you more of a punch. Um, ooh, I'm liking it right there. Is, is, is favorable. That's what I like. So there we have it, you guys. Hollandaise. What are we going to do? Uh, usually I transfer this to a smaller dish. Uh, and I might actually do that. But for the time being, I'll just store it right over this hot water. And then if you're serving a bunch of friends or whatever, breakfast throughout the morning, you just can adjust this consistency with warm water. It's going to kind of dry out and thicken up. A little warm water will bring it back to life. Whisk in some air. And you'll be good to go. So... That's hollandaise, one of the mother sauces. Get out there, try it out, let me know how it goes.